Hello and welcome to Intuitive Stretch, you guys. Welcome back. This is not the live, this is not a replay, this is on demand. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are watching this. Thank you so much for carving out space and time for yourself, for me, and for the collective, for the Intuitive Collective Tribe. Today we are focusing on the crown chakra. And yes, you said it. Yes, you know it. This is really the last kind of chakra um, that we are working with today. Although there is an extended chakra above and below, we really only have been focusing on the seven uh, known chakras, right? Familiar chakras. So today is the crown. Let's go ahead and wear it. <laughs> also, um, let's take a moment to rate our state one through five. You already know one being like you are super exhausted, tired, not feeling it, you are not here today, you just don't want it. Number five, being like you are just elated, you are excited. Uh, anything that can come your way, you are ready for healing, okay? So just take a moment to kind of assess, right? Check in with yourself. Um, there is no right or wrong. However, your feeling is a-okay. I am personally feeling a little tired, um, but that is okay. There was a lot of um, energy today and I also was working a little bit with the crown chakra before um, recording this and so my crown seems to it's kind of tingling so I just wanted to mention that a little uh, preface to this if your crown of your head starts to get a little tingly totally normal um, that just means you're doing it right <laughs> and if it doesn't tingle or anything doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong just that's fine everyone has their own way of um, experiencing things right okay so the crown chakra, you guys, what does it deal with? What are we working with today specifically? So the crown color, all right, in the chakra system is really white or gold, right? It's just bright brightness of light. As you can see, we have a goldish, golden white color here. Um, the crown is also associated with the cosmos, with your divine self. It is your divine creative spark. It is the connection that you have to the divine. So any um, downloads, anything that comes in through a knowingness of just like, I know this, and I don't know how I know this information. Um, if you've ever felt that, if you've just ever known right in your body, in your mind, that there's this information that you've never really um, dove into, right, per se, but you just know. Um, that is the crown chakra. The crown also is about um, right intellect, information. Um, it's also how you give respect to your own divinity, to the goddess self, right? Your goddess self. So this is the seventh chakra. This is the seventh one. Um, the color here, as I said, is golden white. The musical note, as you're listening to right now, which through sound healing or sound frequency is the note B. And the element here is thought. Okay, a couple of concepts here, spirituality, right, liberation, God consciousness, God is consciousness, understanding, and wisdom. So a little bit of connection here to the third eye, but this is more transcendent, right? So we think of Buddha, we think of Christ, Christ consciousness, um, Dalai Lama, um, who else? Mother Teresa, right? This is where we're at today. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's get started, you guys. And I'll read to you some affirmations later. Of course, we have our breath work. We have our smudge practice. We have our oracle reading and we have our stretch. So I hope you're excited. I hope you're ready. I hope you have some space because we are moving today through all the chakras, but primarily through the crown and the crown is leading us today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. When you're ready, go ahead and begin smudging your space, you guys. And like I said, happy morning, happy midday, happy evening, whenever, wherever you are watching this. Let's take some time here to connect to the crown. So let's go ahead and begin to silence the external as much as possible. Let's bring the internal up and let's turn it up. Let's turn it up. So if you'd like to join me here in smudging the crown, I'm just going to go through the crown here. I'm going to go through the sides of my right and left, forward and back, through the third eye, through the mouth and throat, through the heart space, down through the solar, down through the sacral, down through the root. And out into the space, feel free to smudge your space 
in any way you'd like, no right or wrong. All right. And then, as always, if you've got that tea light, you got that light of yours, which you do, internal flight, internal flight, internal light, I would say flame and light at the same time, which I guess it is flight. <laughs> your internal light, go ahead and light that baby up, your external light, and as well your, as your internal one. Take that big inhale, big exhale, just don't blow out that candle. And set your intention for today. What is your intention today with your light? My intention today with my light is to open up my crown to receive my inner wisdom because I believe that we all have deep inner wisdom. We just have to be open to receiving it from ourselves. So my intention today is to open myself to my inner wisdom, my inner deep wisdom, deep inner wisdom. And so it is beautiful, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and dive into our breath work. When you're ready, find a comfortable position. You can lay those hands on your knees. You can go ahead and lie on your back. You can go ahead and come onto the knees here, which is what I'm gonna do as well. I'm gonna stretch it out. I'm gonna come to the knees. If at any point you are a little uncomfortable on the knees, you can go ahead and just come back to sitting, up to you, okay? All right, so when you're ready, go ahead and lengthen that spine, shoulders over ribs, ribs over hips. Nice crown. Go ahead and place that crown, right? Visualize that crown being placed on the top of your head. Close those eyes. Relax, reminding you that you are safe in this space. Start to take those inhales and exhales. As you take those inhales, feel the rising of your belly. Expansion and then the contraction as you exhale. Start to notice any physical sensations occurring in the body, in the head, in the face, the feet. Start to take note of any senses in your heart space, in your solar. Start to silence the external and bring up the internal. And as we take these deep inhales at your own pace, <clears throat> as you take those inhales, I'd like for you to visualize this great big white ball of light illuminating from the crown. So this ball could be rotating as the chakra is called a wheel. So the energy is moving in a circular motion. So you can visualize the light or the ray of light expanding, growing taller and longer as you take those inhales. And it remains at that length as you exhale and just expands as you inhale. So take it, take it nice and slow, deep inhales, just keep exhales. Start to relax the body. Reminding you that you are in a safe space. Begin to open up that crown. Visualize that crown opening up to receive insight from the cosmos, from your higher self. Go ahead and flip the palms upwards. And as we open up our crown, I call upon our ancestors of love and light, our guardians of light, our angels, ascended masters that have walked before us, who are here with us, our higher selves to be with us and protect us. As we dive into this practice, this introspective practice, which allows us to know of ourselves, to know what we need to heal and to activate so that we may walk consciously, we may live consciously, we may breathe, live, eat, sleep, dance, laugh, speak consciously. May this practice connect us to our deep inner wisdom. And so it is. And so it is. <laughs> 
Let's go ahead and lift the arms up, keep the eyes closed, bring the hands together right above the head, extend those arms into what feels like a triangle. Let's go ahead and receive light and energy and assistance from the cosmos from high above. And if you'd like, feel your legs and your root and your hips rooting down into a solid foundation here, like the root of a tree, as your arms extend upwards versus opposition feeling. Connection to the cosmos, connection to the ground. Sky above us, earth below us, fire within us. Big inhale. Big exhale, let the arms float downward. Nice. Let's go ahead and open up our eyes here. Or you can keep them closed to receive the message of the day, you guys. Nice work. All right. So as always, we dive into our oracle reading. Get into a comfortable position. You can switch up the legs, open up the legs. You can go ahead and start your own little mini stretch here. We are working with the Goddess Power Oracle deck. Again, I went to reach for something else. And the goddesses are like, no, 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 God consciousness, goddesses, we need to come forward and we need to explain to you how you can connect with your crown, with your God consciousness. So three cards flew out, which is not what happened in the prior classes. So that's interesting. Um, so this is how I know energetically that there is a message here, right? For sure, which there always is, but like this is just very importante, as I should say, important. All right, so what card came through first? And that is, like I said, three cards came through. So three goddesses coming through energetically to express to you how you can connect with your crown, how you can connect, activate, heal, explore the God consciousness chakra, the crown. The first card that came through is goddess Epona, and she is about wise leadership, all right? Your empowerment message here today is stepping into the world with a sense of surety and positive self-worth is what's called for now. Epona, the Celtic Roman horse goddess of leadership and guidance, offers you her wisdom. Know that you have what it takes to heed it. You can do anything you place your attention on and you'll find it easy to accomplish what's needed for your intention to take form. Whether you are aware of this or not, the way you manage your accomplishments and even the way you handle failures and losses is modeling the way forward for others. There is a wisdom growing within you, being true to who you are and placing integrity and humility equal to enthusiasm makes you a wise leader indeed. One that the goddess Epona is so proud of. So I'm getting tingles right now in my right, or this is my right side, but zoom flips it. This is my personal right side, but this is, I know, your left side, but on my right side. So if you're feeling any tingling sensations, just wanted to confirm that for you. All right. And then the next card that came through, which is very interesting, is the goddess Persephone. And this is about inexperience. So how can we connect, right, to our God consciousness through wise leadership, but also through inexperience? Sometimes not knowing is a great gift, you guys. Right now, the Greek goddess Persephone invites you into a state of open-hearted learning. Discernment comes with experience. And at this moment, it's okay to admit you don't know or fully understand what is in front of you. Be curious and teachable. The goddess Persephone will be with you to ensure you will not fall prey to unconscious commitments and dangerous alliances, just as her own naivety caused her to strike a terrible deal with the god of the underworld. That said, every experience has value. No matter what choice you make right now, the consequences will have a lasting effect as you integrate your lessons and travel the road of destiny. Very interesting, all right? So we're talking about wise leadership, right? What you think of wise leadership, and then you think of like, well, if you're wise, then you have full wisdom, you have all the answers. Isn't wisdom created through experience? And then Persephone comes through to say, yeah, but like you may not have all the answers. And that's actually part of the experience. It's also part of being a wise leader is like moving through the icky stuff, through the failures, 
through the gains, but also through the failures or like the uncertainties and still moving forward with your head high and saying like, yep, I don't know what's happening, you guys, but I'm just going to go forward. Sounds familiar. <laughs> All right, here we go. And last but not least, the last card that came through, so beautiful, is Goddess Esther, okay? And she's about new beginnings. Your empowerment message today, you guys, is hope and new life are blossoming everywhere in your life right now. And this is something to celebrate. The Germanic goddess Esther sings to you and assures you that your intentions have lain dormant long enough. When she appears, bearing the fertile power behind the coming of the spring, you may feel a surge of energy to implement your new ideas. You feel strong and capable of accomplishing so much at this time as a sense of newness permeates your life. Fresh opportunities come out of nowhere and seemingly drop onto your lap. You feel a readiness as you are truly poised for success in whatever interests you. Allow for new experiences to be what they are by adopting beginner's mind. You remain open to what life has to offer you and you will be so glad you did. Enjoy this wonderful time of new beginnings and welcome the gift the goddess Esther has in store just for you. So once again, we have wise leadership from goddess Epona. We have inexperience from goddess Persephone and then new beginnings from goddess Esther. So take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. So how can you connect to your crown chakra, your goddess consciousness, your God consciousness through wise leadership? Take, take initiative, knowing that even inexperience is, does not take away from your leadership. It is through the inexperience that you lean into, right, with curiosity. And all of that work and perspective and consciousness and effort and behavior, right, blossoms into new beginnings. So staying curious, staying open, staying lighthearted, staying strong in your sovereignty, not giving away your power, knowing that all of this is happening for you and not to you. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Yeah, let's use that creative spark, you guys. Amazing. Wow. I love that. Love that. Love that. All right. Of course, we'll dive into some affirmations in just a bit, but let's go ahead and stretch our bodies out. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and automatically come to the booty Go ahead and open up into a straddle. Open up those legs. Oh, yes. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, let's go ahead and flex the feet. And let's go ahead and point the feet. And we'll flex again. And we'll point. And this time we'll flex. We'll bring the arms up overhead. We'll connect the fingers. We'll extend the arms up. Take a big inhale. Big exhale, let the arms fall and float downward onto the lap. Drop the chin to the chest. One big head roll to the right, leading with the crown of the head. Nice and slow. Beautiful. And then one head roll to the left when you're ready. Nice. And then we'll add a twist to the right side. So we'll place the left hand on the thigh here on the right and right arm behind the back. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. See if you can look over your right shoulder. Three, two, one. And then you'll unwind from that and try the same thing to the other side. Right arm comes on the lap or the thigh. And then the left hand comes behind the back. Relax the feet here if you'd like. Take a look over your left shoulder if you can. Big inhale, big exhale. Nice. And then we'll come back to center. Hands on the ground and we'll go ahead and take a nice deep dive here. We'll take a couple. Just go ahead and move at your own pace. Doesn't matter how deep you go and how right, how flexible you are. This is just a stretch. It's also just activating the crown chakra here. So we're moving to the crown. Your focus is on the crown chakra. So there's energy being released and absorbed as well through the crown. So notice here as we are diving in deep, we're leading with the head, we're leading with the crown. 
Nice. And then we'll do one more here. As we come all the way up to the top, we're going to go ahead and cross our right leg up and over the left. So left leg comes in and let's bring the right leg up and over onto the knee. Okay. It's kind of like a square pose, square chair pose. We're crisscross if this is a little too intense, right? A pretzel up to you, okay? So let's go ahead and place our right hand on the right knee and also place your elbow here. We're gonna bring the palms up and we're just gonna go ahead and drop the chin. Big inhale, big exhale for four, three, two, and one, so we have nice and tall, extend or lengthen through the spine, head is all the way up. Let's go ahead and face our right foot, so to the corner, and let's go ahead and walk the arms out, keeping the root of your booty, right, of your body on the floor, hands on the floor if you can. And let's go ahead and extend the arms out. Big inhale, and as you exhale, bend through the arms. Inhale and stretch through the arms. Exhale, bend at the arms. Inhale, stretch, stretch through the arms. We'll do one more just like that. Inhale, stretch, exhale, bend. Nice, and on your way up, big inhale, walk the arms in, come back to center and release the leg. Let's go ahead and take that right leg out. Wonderful, a couple undulations here to the left. The left foot will stay into the groin. My right ear just wants to bend, oh my boy. All right, so God consciousness. So when have you, or how do you connect to your divinity? Like how do you personally connect to your divinity? What do you do, right? We often think about like self-care, right? That's important for sure. But also like how do you give reverence to this life that you live, this existence, right? Beyond the physical, beyond all of this that we perceive, but the feeling and the knowingness, right? The spiritual things, the mystical, the metaphysical. So when you're ready, come up and over and let's come into this pigeon position on the left side. The left knee and chin are on the ground. You can go ahead and keep that right leg extended. Keep the toes um, relaxed here. So not tucked and you're gonna keep that back leg straight. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and just drop the right knee here. Relax the toes. Feel that stretch happening in your right hip. Nice. And let's go ahead and open up the chest. We'll bring the head all the way up. And we'll take a look up at the ceiling. Feel free to close those eyes. Maybe visualize the sky, the night sky, the cosmos. Three. Two. And one, we'll go ahead and come right back. Take a seat on those beautiful booties of yours. Extend that left leg, bring in the right leg and place the left foot on top of the right knee. All right, same thing here. This is a little too tight. You can always just bring it into crisscross. Otherwise, go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Flip the palms upwards or place the elbow on the knee here for an intense stretch. Here we go. Three big inhales, three big exhales. Shoulders are over ribs, ribs are over hips. And let the chin fall. Big inhales, big exhales. Beautiful. And on your next exhale, you'll go ahead and roll up through the spine. You'll square your shoulders to your left foot or the right side, right knee, and then you'll place your hands on the floor and you'll walk them out as far as you'd like. Now, remember, this is about your stretch. This isn't about flexibility and like what you can and cannot do. This is just a stretch. So this is where you are today. This is good. This is great. Know where you are today. Take a big inhale here with those arms extended and maybe you just keep the arms extended today and you're just exhaling through the arms also extension, right? But if you're ready for a deeper stretch, go ahead and bend through the arms, exhale and let the body melt as you exhale. Big inhale, extend those arms. And then big exhale again, and through the arms. I really want you to consider breathing out loud 
So it's not so much about like forcing the breath to be loud. It's more just about breathing and then being authentic to the breath. And if it is loud, if it makes noise, allowing that to happen. Allow, allow, right? Sovereignty, respect for yourself, respect for your body, respect for your sounds, respect for your, for nature's ability to just be within you. Breath, breathing, blinking, swallowing, emotions, all of it. That's really all about the crown as well. We'll do one more here. The crown is just about, yeah, like allowing, allowing your God consciousness, allowing your divinity to connect within you, not being separate from the mystical, from the metaphysical, from the spirituality. You are that first. And it is said, when you're ready, go ahead and extend those arms, walk the arms in, come back to center and take that left leg out. Oof. A couple undulations here to the right when you're ready. It is said too, that we often think that spirit, right? Our spirit body is in us. Like, oh, there's spirituality inside of us. But actually it's been said recently and through uh, rhetorics and through doctrines that your spirit is actually, right? This Merkaba of energy and that the body is actually inside of the spirit body. Um, so that says a lot, if you really think about that. We are energy, we are spirit, and we have manifested into this physical incarnation. So that's beautiful. When you're ready, go ahead and come up and over. Hands will come to the floor, we'll square our hips to the floor. Nice, keep that back leg straight if you'd like for an extra stretch here on the left hip. Don't tuck the toes, just release them. When you're ready, you can drop the knee here, open up the chest, let the head come all the way up. Feel free to also extend that back leg as back leg as well if you're into this deeper stretch open up the chest let the head come all the way up three two and one beautiful when you're ready go ahead and come all the way back down amazing job we're going to go ahead and cross the legs here we're going to come up and over hands and knees to the ground and we're going to go ahead and add some cat cows here all right now i'd like for you to bring your focus once again to the crown so neutral spine here hands on the floor hands underneath your shoulders and your gaze is down to the floor in between those fingers all right when you're ready go ahead and just lift up the head nothing else just lift the head as high as you can and then bring the head or chin all the way into the chest nothing else don't add the contraction with the body don't move the hips just chill out relax and just bring your gaze and focus inward and to the crown so moving the crown all the way up and all the way in Maybe one more time. And when you're ready, add one head roll to your right. And when you come back all the way around, one head roll to the left. Beautiful. And then we're going to repeat that whole contraction and arch here when you're ready. Bring your gaze down to the floor, neutral spine. Beautiful. Before we do, bring the knees in together. Take a seat on those heels. Interlace those fingers and roll the wrists out. Nice, you guys. Beautiful. Before we get started, right, and we repeat that, we got to shake out these wrists. So we are going to be there for a little while. And when you're ready, here we go. Round two. Hands on the floor, knees on the floor. Find that neutral spine, long spine, shoulders equally, right, separated, hands underneath the shoulders. And when you're ready, here we go. We begin with an arch and head all the way up. This time, go ahead and lift the booty, open up the chest. Head comes up, let the stomach sink all the way down, heavy. Big inhale here. And when you're ready, big exhale, reverse that entire thing, but come all the way inward. Let the head tuck and let the hips come inward. Yes. Rounded back here as we go into the cat position. Big inhale. Big exhale. Come back to neutral spine. We'll do that one more time. Here we go. Open up the back, open up the chest, head comes all the way up, booty is up, let the tummy hang, big inhale. Big exhale. Coming back to neutral spine, take it the other way. Nice, tucking everything inward, taking a look at the navel, pushing away from the floor with those hands to get an extra stretch here in the back. Three, big inhale. Two, big exhale. One, bring those knees in together. Go ahead and take a seat on those heels. Last time here, 
We'll interlace those fingers. We'll shake out the head. And this time, we'll bring the palms with the fingers interlaced on top of the head or on the crown, all right? Just go ahead and place the hands here and see how you can just connect with the crown here, bringing all that energy there. And as your hands are interlaced, right, let them rest on your crown. So you might feel this tug, right, this pull from your fingers. You might feel it as your weight, right, is shifted onto the head. You might feel the energy coming from the fingers all the way out to the elbows and being pulled. That is nice. Hold it there. Great job. Big inhale, big exhale. Big exhale, big inhale. Beautiful, release the arms, shake the arms forward and back, clap it up. And here we go, round two this time, hands on the floor, knees on the ground, tuck those toes, you guys. And when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and come up to a downward dog. So when you're ready, rock it back and forth, wake those feet up a couple times, say hello, hello feet, we're dealing with the opposite end here, you guys. Right, and guys, I mean talking to our feet, we're like, hey, wake up, cause we gonna connect it all today. Crown and feet, are you ready? In three, in two, take a big inhale. On, on your exhale, you're gonna go ahead and push the floor away with your hand, shift your weight up and back into your heels and see if you can drop the heels to the floor. Let's take eight seconds here to just feel that stretch happening in the calves, in the hamstrings, in the lower back, maybe even upper back. Can you shake your head yes and no while you are here? Yes, maybe a head roll, mini one. Three, two, and one. You guys go ahead and soften the knees, bring the knees back down to the floor and relax the toes. Go ahead and take a seat on those heels. Amazing job. All right, here we go. We're gonna continue finishing up our deeper stretch here. Our first side is the right side. So when you're ready, go ahead and wiggle those toes in front. Place your left hand on the ground. All right, and when you're ready, go ahead and move through these stretches into that downward, or sorry, not downward, but deep stretch here into this, into this lizard position is what I'm trying to say. My gosh, what's going on here? Take your hips back and front. Nice and slow. So you're moving through a lunge position here. Keep everything parallel. Your gaze is down to the floor. And we're about to shift that in just a bit, right? So I want you to think iguana. Yeah, start thinking iguana, receiving light from the sun, opening up its chest and being like, yeah, give me that sunlight. So as you take your hips forward for the last time here, you're gonna go ahead and open up that right foot to the corner on the right. And then you're gonna place both hands to the side of it. And you're gonna actually walk your hands to the opposite corner. Yes, keep the hips forward. Your objective here is to feel that huge stretch happening in both hips here. Let's go ahead and open up the chest and lift the head up for eight, seven. If you'd like a deeper stretch, feel free to come down to the elbows for six, five, four, Three, two, and one, you guys. We're gonna retrograde it, bring the chest back to neutral. Placement, walk the hands back to that center, pivot the foot to parallel, shift your weight slightly back, maybe stretch that front leg out if you'd like. As far as you'd like, reminding you this is just a stretch. And when you're ready, we're gonna come back into that deep lunge. You're gonna go ahead and tuck the back foot underneath and you're gonna extend the back leg. Yeah, extend the back leg. Feel that stretch, maybe bend the knee a couple times here. Maybe stretch the leg a couple times. I'm taking this off because it's getting a little hot in here. Nelly, Q and Nelly, hot in. Tuck the toes, extend the leg. And when you are ready, hold that extension. Let's go ahead and turn the palms or walk the hands to the front. Open up the hips so that you come to a side lunge. Side lunge. Open up the arms here. Nice. So this right knee is going to want to turn in. I'm going to ask you to push it back with your right arm. Open up the chest. Keep the crown up. Extend that left leg. And when you're ready, take it up and over to the opposite side. Beautiful, last stretch here when you're ready. Mm -hmm. 
And when you're ready, go ahead and turn it up and over to that left side. Drop that right knee, relax the toes. Nice. And then we're going to try the same thing on the left side. So go ahead and bring your hips back and forward at your own pace. Keep the hands parallel. Nice. And so we move forward and back. Inhales and exhales. And when you're ready, go ahead and bring your hips forward one last time. Here we go. Iguana, iguana. Go ahead and turn those feet outward. So left foot out. Walk the hands over to the opposite corner. Open up the chest. Shoulders are back. Lift the head for eight, seven, six, five. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you can always come down to the elbows for four. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Hands on the floor, walk those hands back in, parallel that left foot. Go ahead and take it back for one more stretch. Remember that this is a stretch. Maybe going as far back as you'd like. When you're ready, bring the hips forward one last time. You're going to tuck the toes. Behind you, you're going to stretch that back leg, strong lunge here, strong body. Beautiful. And then you'll drop the knee, relax. And then you'll try it again, extend that back leg. A couple times here to feel that stretch happening in the hip. Yeah. And then maybe one last time. Whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and turn it over to the front or to the open side. Extending that right leg out, flex the foot. Same thing here, that left foot or left leg is gonna wanna come in, that knee. You're gonna go ahead and push it out with your left arm. Yes, open up the arms here, open up the chest, head is up for four, for three, for two, and one, you guys. Go ahead and take a seat on that booty of yours. Woo, bring the legs in together. We made it, we made it. All right, here we go. Coming to the back. Nice work. Bring the knees into the chest, roll those ankles out, roll the hands out, place that crown on your head. <laughs> when you're ready, go ahead and let the feet come down, extend the legs out to your corners or the corner of your mat, extend the arms out to your sides, bring the palms up, take a big, big inhale here. Big exhale. Ugh. Savasana. Let's take these last 30 seconds here to catch our breath, regain some energy, or maybe reset an intention for ourselves today. Keeping those eyes closed and keeping that breath work, I'd like to share with you some affirmations for the crown chakra. Feel free to hold on to any of these. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Allow these affirmations to inspire you, not to burden you. I am not separate from what I desire to manifest. Expressing gratitude and asking to be of service is the most powerful, prospering prayer of all. Surrendering truly will serve my highest good. Spirit is always listening to me. Spirit is my loving partner, reminding me that I am not alone. 
I don't know what this sea of possibility has in store for me, so I stay curious and refrain from judgment or the need to label. All manner of miracles are waiting for me to lay claim to them. Some days, I have to let go of my struggle to find an answer and focus on other things for a while. Life operates on life's terms. What is waiting for me lies beyond the ordinary. And here is an inquiry for you. What is your relationship with prayer? How and when do you usually pray? What is your relationship with prayer? How and when do you usually pray? Bringing your awareness back. Taking a big inhale and exhale, wiggling those fingers and toes. And bringing those arms up and overhead, interlacing those fingers and taking a big stretch like you woke up for the second time today. Because, honey, you did. And when you're ready, go ahead and turn it into a cradle position on your right side. Beautiful. And when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and place our hands and our knees on the ground. So that way we can roll our bodies out and get us ready for the remaining of the day or evening, depending when you are watching this. Beautiful job, you guys. And when you're ready, go ahead and take a seat on those beautiful heels of yours or on that booty. Amazing job. Make some noise in there for yourselves or I will. <laughs> These guys. All right, rub those hands together. We're gonna do something a little different today, right? Why not? We always do something a little different. All right, crown chakra, crown chakra. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and move back a little so you can see this work. Hey. All right, ready? Rub those hands, baby. Golden white light, connecting to your goddess, yourself, your divinity, God consciousness, right? The mystical, which is not mystical at all in the sense of mystery. It is very real. It is here. We are in it. All right. Let's go ahead and tap into it. Bring the arms up and overhead. Bring the arms up. We're going to go ahead and connect the hands together. Extend the arms up. Take a couple of seconds here to receive that energy from the cosmos, from your higher self, from the ancient ones, from your ancestors, your ancestors of love and light to watch you, who connect with you. Thank you so much for this practice. Thank you so much for this experience, the journey, the highs and the lows, the in-between. When you're ready, bring those hands up and over the head into the crown. Feel free to open up those hands of yours your own connection to your crown in whichever way you'd like to place your fingers or mudras, fingers together or separate up to you. Take two big inhales here. Big exhale. 
receive that white divine golden light. Once again, big inhale. Big exhale. You guys give yourselves a hug. You so deserve it. Amazing job today. Amazing freaking job. We have completed our chakra series. The next class that we're going to have is a full body, full chakra alignment and activation class. So do not miss it. You're not going to want to miss it. All right. Thank you so much for carving out space and time for yourselves. I can't let you go without reminding you that you are a super powerful co-creator, master, okay, here on this earth right now to have this experience, to heal, to activate, not just yourself, but also to heal and activate others, your family, your friends, okay, acquaintances, the people around you, and also earth. It's a sentient being. So you are here for this divine purpose and reasoning. Don't ever forget that. I love you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, you guys.